All right, good morning everyone. We are back at the farmhouse. We're gonna film a little bit here. I'm not too sure what we're gonna be able to capture, um, but we still have quite a few cameras to put up. At the pool house, we did that last time. Uh, we still have a camera to go on the left. I think one in the middle and there's an access point there that we gotta hook up. And then on the house, we gotta actually put all of the cameras up that are going on the soffit, as well as APs. As you can tell, it is now fall in Canada and the leaves look really nice. Um, back here is that horse barn where we're gonna be putting some cameras down the side. Put one at the front. I think there is getting Wi-Fi there. The gate is way down there. We aren't doing the gate. Uh, the gate company is actually gonna put in their own system, so that's okay. But let's uh, start mounting some gear. So we have a camera going on this corner and this is where the electricians ran it. We're gonna try to hide the cable as much as we can, but we're probably just gonna have to mount it here on the wood. Um, and then we have a doorbell over here. We're gonna be replacing this doorbell, making it straight and putting on the unified G4 doorbell pro, which will be really nice. You'd see the cable hanging down there and then two other cables. There's gonna be two G5 cameras going and one U6 mesh so that we give this area some access to Wi-Fi. So we now have the Ubiquiti mount on the soffit and under the soffit there is wood so that's going to be nice and strong. What we need to do, we need to cut this to length and then get it terminated and the camera mounted. We now have the two cameras on the corner which are going to be going out towards the property looking over the pool and then down towards the horse barn. So now what we're going to do is put an access point into the wall. Uh, this cable is run up from the floor. We're not going to leave that as is. We're going to get it into the wall. Around the corner there's this vacuum pipe. This vacuum pipe goes downstairs and there's a way that we could fish up with it. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna end up drilling out the other side of the wall and then putting an in-wall access point on. Since this is an old farmhouse, it's really hard to get cables up through the wall. So we found this low voltage vacuum pipe and we were able to get a Cat6 up here. Uh, we were able to take that out of the floor where it originally was. We're gonna have to put the AP beside it because we can't get to the other side of the wall. We now have the cable through and we won't be putting a drywall ring onto this wall as it's wood. So we'll just put a couple of wood screws in and the access point should go on. And we now have the access point on the wall and adopted and it looks pretty good and it's giving great Wi-Fi signal throughout the main floor of the house. Now we're over in the barn where the horse stable is and you guys would have seen this in the last video. They are redoing this place, but currently it has no power. So that's why we have a light showing here. Um, this is the uplink from the main house and we're only gonna be using one of these and we're putting on another flex box with one of the flex switches and this will be powered by PoE++ to give us for our cameras and our one access point. So I'm gonna get this installed on the wall.
The only thing we did in the barn was put up the flex box as well as the flex switch. We only have one uplink. There are four cables going back. So we'll just end up coiling this. And the last thing that we're gonna do today on this trip, even though we have one more trip to do before the job's done, is put on the G4 Doorbell Pro so that they have access to their doorbell because I'm not 100% sure they did on this one. So let's get it installed. Now let me show you what was done. It's pretty windy out here and it's actually really cold. We got some snow this morning, um, but we have one camera right there, that's a G5. Then we'll walk towards the door. At the front of the door, we have the G4 Pro doorbell, which is awesome. We could get package detection down below. Along the side here, we have a U6 mesh and then we have two cameras that are covering the property. We also have two more cameras. This one's pointing down towards the door. This one will be readjusted so that it looks out over towards this uh, little grass pathway where they hang out. You'd see we got a camera here and then we have one more on the corner and then we have some stuff down at the barn. So let's go take a look. Now over at the pool house, we have one G5 bullet on the left and then we have a G5 on the right. And we also have another U6 mesh to give the pool uh, Wi-Fi when they're sitting around. And this is all coming into a flex utility box, which is giving all the devices power. And at the front of the horse barn, we have a G5 bullet, which will capture the driveway going down. And we also have another U6 mesh. They do have a fire pit over there and we are picking up strong Wi-Fi. And that's going to be it for this on-site job video. A lot of people did ask about the gate, but unfortunately we weren't doing the gate. The access control was included in the package from the gate provider. I do have another job coming up that's about 40 cables. We have three access control doors that we're going to be doing, some Wi-Fi and cameras that I am allowed to film, so I will bring you along on that journey. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. All right, thanks.